get rest in. Uh, and let's check this out. Now it's downloadable, which is good. Let's hit download and then we will let that trickle away. 22 megabytes, that's going to take no time. Let's take these so it thinks that we've rated it. That's good. Look at this. Look at the, look at the ah! <laughs> I like it. All right. Uh, so is there any context to this? No. So it's a Mayan inspired city builder. Awesome. Oh, an antic dog did the art. Awesome. That's good. Let's have a look at this then. Let me just go ahead and extract this. Don't remember. Okay, we're just extracting that out now. Uh, so the Mayans sacrifice people, that's the tribute. Okay, that sounds good to me. Let's give this a go then. The Last Civilization by Krasenstein. Okay, so we can start a new town. We can load a town. I like these little animations, dude. These are super nice. I know it's a little thing, but it's nice. You don't normally get that. Uh, it's a nice alternative to button feedback too. There's no options, Grant. I'll forgive you. It's fine. Start town. Okay, we're going to go for this. Our town name is going to be called Dantopia. Nalaj would be proud. Let's start the town. Do tween is like, oh, tween. Indeed it is. I miss it. We um, I bought a uh, tweening library for Unreal, but it's still not the same. Okay. Place your first altar by clicking in your, uh, in your desired location on the map. Okay, so where should we have the altar? Bang in the middle, top center. Pow. <gasps> nice camera movement as well. Again, that's tweening, I guess. Place your first altar by click. Oh, we've done that. Okay, a new civilian, uh, Yuritsi, has joined your town. Good. Oh. Oh, again. Okay, so I can move the camera around now. I can pause time as well, maybe. Okay, good, good, good. So can I click on them? Okay, so this is crucial. Oh, I missed that bit where it said you can change the... I think it was telling me that I can change their jobs. Okay. So, here are our civilians. Oh, we're getting more and more. Can we pause it and look at this menu too? I don't know if we're meant to be able to do that, but it's giving me a bit of time to think. So, what do we have in here? We have different icons. These are probably the different jobs. So, um, I can see one up here that looks like a fish icon. So, that would be Angler. I'm gonna get let's resume game before I break it. So we can go angler for one farmer. What else have we got in there? Gatherer. Oh, and we got more a builder. And then let's go for a merchant. Alright, let's turn the jobs off. So off they go. <gasps> Look at this! Is he gonna go the is he going to the trees? And he's getting me some resources. Now these actually he's an angler, is it because we've got no ocean? What's this one? The builder, farmer, and the merchant. What are they doing? This one's doing his job. So I can see we got some wood. Maybe we need more gatherers. Let's just put everyone on gatherer duty, shall we? I don't trust the others at the moment. Let's let's get some wood. Ah, oh, the only job that works so far is carrot. That would make more sense then. Well. We're having a whole lot of gatherers there. Oh, look at their little outfits. Look at this. The little animations are dead cute. And so it's cool. You can see that we've got some wood and we get stone. So based on these different resources, they'll go and they will then resource them. These probably have like an amount of resources that you can pull off of them. 
And I'd imagine the idea then is that the builders would be able to use these resources in order to build different things, right? Um, and then it's same with farm, but that might require you to clear some space or something around it in order to be able to, uh, to, to kind of farm in that region. What other jobs did we have there as well? We had, so the angler would need water. I'm wondering how that would come into it. A priest, there could be a religious kind of uh, side to it as well. I'm not too sure whether that would give you benefits or whether that would be something in terms of the tributes. That could be another thing. Oh, so then you can click on... Ah, oh, would you look at that? You've even got like a nice filter. This is cool as well. Filters make everything. Uh, food keeps your town alive. That makes sense. Oh, okay. So at the end of every day, then, you need to sacrifice one of your people. Oh, who should we sacrifice, chat? Hey there, Lucky Feathers. Nice to see you. I need a sacrificial target. Who's it going to be? It could be Yuritsi, it could be Kushil, it could be Itzel, it could be Niktaha, Atziri or Athziri. At one point, they'll have age, sickness, competence. Ah, so that would give, like, what, some... You can choose who to get rid of. Uh -oh. Let's do it, then. Sacrificed. Oh, how we'll miss you. Uh, so they go off and do their days. Yeah, so I'm trying to think how this could then work, then. I'm interested in hearing if you had, uh, like, more ideas on it. You're welcome to talk and chat about it. So, um... At the moment, you're saying that. Right, so with the builders then, would you be choosing from a build menu? Or would it just be an automated, they go and build things that benefit? I guess it, it, you'd probably need to choose from a menu, right, of what you want them to build. You'd click on them, maybe. And then you could click on, like, what you want to build. Um, that could work. Uh, and then in terms of the, the food and fish could give you, uh, could or farming and fishing could give you food to keep you up. If maybe they work at a less efficient rate if they don't have enough food. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mostly menus, indeed. But any, men, if you can get menus with a game that's this like cute and uh, nice to look at, then that works really well, right? The game is proc gen, so there's a chance that you can get rivers too. Oh, is that is that uh, regardless of um, is that in this current build? Because I'll start it a few times and see uh, how the different world looks. The sprite work and everything's lovely as well. I'm doing good. Uh oh, the abyss is that way. Don't go to the abyss. To the abyss. That's where bad things happen. Yeah, but the gods weren't. In oh, do you know what? Stuff you gods. Right, let's save and quit. Oh, crass. Crass, you taunted me with the save and quit, didn't you? Let's alt an F4, and let's go in and see if we can get another map, shall we? It seems to remember me, it just didn't quit. It's okay. You can start a new town. What should we call this? Save and quitsville. There we go. Save and Quitsville. Let's see. Do we have any water in Save and Quitsville? So this must be... Is this the generation here then? Hey, we got river! Look at this. We'd want to put ourselves on the river, really, wouldn't we? Ah, oh, you can go even on it, and then you could use either side of it. Your videos can change job by going to the job panel on the bottom screen. Ah, that's what I missed last time. There we go. Safe and, safe and Quitsville is a better place than last. Look at this. Look at our civilians. We can now get these gathering. Oh, I don't even miss Dantopia. Don't miss it at all. So, um, and I'm guessing, would you, would you imply, uh, would you uh, then expect to have new people join you? After you sacrifice, would you get a new person back? I guess you must do, right? 
So you had to sacrifice the least useful. But then you wouldn't want that game loop so that you always sacrifice the newest people. Maybe that people get worse with age, but you can also pet power them up. I don't know, some form of balance where it's not always in a... You want it to be a thoughtful process who gets sacrificed each time, right? The goal is to have population control. Uh, and you can build houses uh, and you can build houses for more population maximum. Okay. But overpopulation will starve your village. Yeah, so it's that balance of building without overbuilding, I guess, right? And you're right, Lucky Feathers. I kind of blocked the river with my massive altar. Very selfish of me. Banished. I'm not sure if I played um, Banished. Let me have a little cheeky look at that then. Ah, I don't think I have. A little look at this quickly, shall we? Adverts. This is a surprise. So it's relatively modern. So you have land. And you have people. I see. There's something satisfying about watching things just do their thing, right? And that you're in control. I played like black and white when I was a kid. But other than that, I've not really played many kind of god games. I've played a few RTSs, but... You see these knocking down the trees and gathering stuff. This is much more god and less RTS. So the thing with black and white, black and white did felt less god game and more just like being... You had this this spirit animal thing that I found really hard to control. <laughs> you can you can't control each villager. Okay, so it's just based on their job, and then they'll automate what they do. Made by single indie dev as well. Cool, that's cool. I like. I'm happy to learn this. This video looks interesting. 30 years of God game history. Black and white spore. Spore, I guess it is a God game, is it? Yeah. Yeah, I guess I guess the genre does kind of stretch and cover a few different things. Well, that's cool. Cool. Thank you for sharing. And thank you for the game as well, Crash. We probably have to, if it's running in the background, we have to sacrifice someone. So I think it's an easy choice for us. There's two Kutchels in our town. So you are getting sacrificed. Can we sacrifice more? <laughs> Done. Farewell. The gods are happy at least now. Are they? Please, gods? It's my river. Where's my altar? It better be bloody. There it is. Stained. It's fine. We don't need food, do we? If no one's left, and God be happy. All right. Save and quit definitely doesn't work, Crash. <laughs> Very dry. Try and uh, alter colored blood. <laughs> oh, thank you so much for taking part, um, uh, Krasenstein, in the jam. Like, I really like the idea, and it, it definitely, like, that would have been such a fun game to play uh, had you managed to, to get some of those extra features in, but it's you did definitely scope a lot. Um, uh, if you, if you do finish it off, give me a poke and I'll, I'll play, uh, I'll play it once it is working, but I appreciate you probably have a bunch of, uh, projects on your mind at the moment already. But yeah, thank you. Ah, lovely, lovely. One of the, the many projects. <laughs> that was one way to think about it. Kill everyone. Then you don't need any resource. Exactly. But I mean, is there much to do then? That is the question. All right. Let's write some, uh, feedback to this. I love the potential uh, of this. I'm really glad uh, you submitted. Though uh, you were able to squeeze in as much of the game loop as you hoped. Um, I not played many god games in the past. Uh, having you explain your vision for this. I 
can see. Might be interesting to play. Do finish it. I'd love to see. I'd be making difficult decisions. Trying to min max whilst still building the type of world um, I want my people to live in. There we go. Lovely. Yes, certainly. Uh, drop a link. Uh, so Crash Jam, there's a Crash Jam this Friday. Is it Crash Jam 13? Or oh, you passed that now. Something in my head saying it's Crash Jam 13. 